Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to pop on really quickly um, just to give you guys a, a supply list today for today's live. I go live, um, it's called Angie's Art Party, every Sunday, 2 o'clock p.m. Pacific. And um, I was going to do fairy beads or boho beads, but I ran into another bead, that I, a couple of beads that I really love making. So we're going to make these beads today. So... Let me just try to come down as close as I can. Look how beautiful these are. Aren't they gorgeous, you guys? Oh, I'm going to show you guys how to make this, and you're going to be shocked of how to make them because it breaks all the rules that you've heard about paper beads, and I'm going to show you in just a second. But I just want to show you the bead first. Aren't they gorgeous? They look like little, just little beautiful little nuggets. I'm obsessed. And these are some ones we did last week, which I love too. They're smaller ones, but I put, um, I glazed them. So I just want to show you after you glaze them. Look how pretty they are. Uh, this is an, let me tell you something. Once you start making beads, it's an addiction. You can't stop. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you guys. Let me bring my camera back up. And let me show you what, what you're going to need. So let me take these beads and put them somewhere. Let me just put these beads to the side. I have so much stuff out here. It's ridiculous. Okay, to roll the beads, you'll need either a bead roller. And this is the biggest one that I have in my pack, okay? So this is what it looks like, just so you can see the size of it. Or at least have a barbecue skewer if you don't have a bead roller, okay? But as soon as you can, get yourself a bead roller. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them anywhere. I think I've got, I have, I got a set of four, so I have three others. This whole set was not, it was not more than maybe eight bucks on Amazon. I think I got it on Amazon, okay? So you're looking for a bead roller, all right? If you don't have a bead roller, at least have a barbecue skewer. I would use a barbecue skewer before I would use a toothpick because it's just going to be, this is a lot easier to manipulate than, um, than a, uh, toothpick. Okay. Next you need, um, you're going to need your papers. You can get magazines. I'm using some of the papers I've made. So, well, for today, let me tell you what you need for the beads for today. You need cardstock. Believe it or not. I know. The more I told you, you're going to break some rules. Cardstock. So if you have some white cardstock, brown cardstock, even if you have black cardstock, that'll be fine. Have some cardstock, okay? I'm actually using Christmas paper, and I'm using the other side of it because I ran out of cardstock. Well, I have tons of this. I bought it for 10 cents a pack or something on clearance. So I'm using this as my cardstock. So now I'm using this. So that's wonderful. Okay, so have some cardstock. Um... What else am I going to show you? Also, if you just have um, some magazine pages, or I also use magazine pages, or I'm also using some papers that I created myself, okay? And I'll show you guys how I create these papers. And this is just made out of, um, this is just made out of uh, printer paper, okay? And I showed you this last week, but I'll show you again how you make this, okay? It's super simple. Now, I actually made this paper. Let me... Let me, um, there we go. I actually made this paper and then I made a copy of it, of this paper on cardstock. So I can make these big, these big fat beads right here are made out of cardstock, you guys. That's why you need cardstock. And you can make some really cool beads with plain white paper. And I'll show you what you're going to do with that. But also, if you make your own paper like this, copy it off onto cardstock if you like this print. Even if you have a magazine and you like that print, copy that off and copy it off onto some cardstock, okay? Um, also, you can just use plain white cardstock. Okay, so I've given you a lot of choices today of what you can use. Okay. Also, the magazines, whatever, like magazines, music note paper, whatever, also gather that stuff up, okay? Because you can use that too, okay? we're going to cut just regular little pieces like this that we cut up last week. 
this is also you're able to use a lot of scraps so I have a bunch of pieces that of not cardstock but just paper that I cut up last week okay and you especially need the smaller pieces so um, just also have some music note pages book pages or magazines it doesn't even matter what the print is because you're going to completely change it okay and if you have some extras left over have all your little extra bits on the side because you can use those in this whole thing okay all right what else do you need all right you're going to need gather yourself some markers whatever colors you are working with that you like to work with whatever colors you like to work with I love I have both out here okay I love my neutrals like um, browns um, this rose gold gold silver turquoise these are all the colors I really love working with with making these beads so pull some markers paint markers just regular markers whatever you have pull those colors out okay especially if you have a gold or silver pen pull those out then also if you want some different colors like I also pulled out purple this pink this other purple so you can pull out colors too today I'm probably gonna mostly work with the neutrals okay and I have those in this cup Let me try to put these away okay so you're gonna need those you're also gonna need your glue now I am suggesting because we're using cardstock to make these big fat beautiful boho looking beads I would advise you guys Dollar Tree has uh, Eileen's tacky right now go pick yourself up some Eileen's tacky you can use Elmer's glue but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hold on to it a little bit for a, for a few more seconds because it's cardstock okay so it's thicker but this islands tacky you hold on to it like this for a second and it's and it's glued down so that's why I like the islands tacky for this process okay um, and hopefully your Dollar Tree has it if not you know just if you can just go get yourself some whatever craft store um, I just saying that for the ease of making these beads, it's going to be a lot easier for you if you have the Eileen's Tacky. Okay, um, what else do you need? You're going to need, if you have a, you don't, it's not necess, it's not a necessity, but if you have a paper cutter, get your paper cutter out. Definitely have scissors and a ruler, a pen and a pencil. Okay, so most of the stuff that I'm showing you guys is stuff that you already have, just basic, that you already have. Also, uh, whatever dark ink you have, like black or dark brown, specifically a dark brown would be great. Have that ink pad, okay? This is all the stuff that's sitting on my desk right now, you guys. My desk is loaded. Okay, glitter. Yay, I love glitter. Okay, so you're going to need some glitter whatever you have okay and whatever's going to match your projects for me um, this color this uh, copper color this gold this brown these are the colors that I'm really using and then I have this other brown here too okay so you need some glitter I also have some white glitter here too okay also um, some um, nail polish just either you can have some clear nail polish you can also have some clear nail polish that has sparkle in it that's fine you can have some silver so whatever polishes you have that have sparkles in them you can use those okay I'm giving you options but definitely pull out your clear nail polish at least pull out if you have some clear nail polish that would be good okay so pull out all your sparkly polishes and a lot of us girls have these polishes and we haven't used them well now you can use them I have some more sparkly nail polish so I pulled out a bunch of those what else do I have and then I do have other colors of glitter like if I want to go with more of these type of colors I did pull these out because I do have one bead made with these kind of colors I've just been more attracted right now to making more of the neutral color beads so that's what I've been doing um, what else do I have out here? Oh, to, um, to shellac your beads, to put a clear coat on your beads, um, this is what I would use. I was using only clear nail polish to, um, 
to uh, put a uh, glaze to glaze my beads to put a hard coat finish on them but we're using glitter you guys so glitter you really need something nice and thick to encase these and now I don't have any glitter on my hands or anything these are totally encased okay they're totally been in, they've totally been glazed so I don't have to worry about any of the glitter or anything coming off on my hands or nothing and it really hardens them up really nice my beads are super hard and so it's deco art triple thick brilliant brush on glaze I paid $5.99 just recently at Hobby Lobby for this um, most craft stores have it but Hobby Lobby have pretty much have the best price on it so uh, $5.99 trip it's called deco art triple thick this stuff is the bomb get this in your life this is the stuff I think it's great also another good one I think I haven't used it I just pulled it is glossy accents but look you don't get as much when you buy it so I would go for the triple thick but I also want to use my glossy accents because I already know how this stuff works it's great too so if you already have this or you have anything that's like a glossy accents or like a triple thick don't go out and buy it just use that then um, if you have any glitter glues these could also be good too when it comes to putting on your uh, sparkle um, and anything else you have that you think that would be great for your beads, pull it. Like, I also have this right here, this DuraClear iridescent varnish I got for $249. Um, it's a iridescent varnish. Now, this would be really pretty, especially on my, um, ones that, um, like I have one bead. Is it, uh, is it here or is it over here? Just a second. I'll show you. I have one bead that has these different colors, like pinks and all that and purples and golds this would have been really pretty to varnish it with to put this over it just as another colorant um also this glitter glue I'm, I'm looking for all my glitter glues i don't know what the heck happened to them i i call myself organizing myself and i've misplaced all my glitter glues but i'll find them but anyway this glitter glue is not wouldn't that be gorgeous you can put that on there okay so i pulled that too so i just pulled a lot of stuff to decorate my beads um oh also this is not necessary right now today let me put this stuff down you don't have to have this today but I would eventually try to get this in your arsenal of bead making because it really finishes off your beads I'm looking for my other one it's weird okay these right here these uh, grommets get yourself some of these now the grommets how, okay, what you have to do is, it's this right here determines the um, the orifice in the middle. So this orifice and this fit perfectly together. Okay, so this makes the the hole in the middle the same size as this, or just a little bit smaller, so that these grommets can fit in the ends. See. So you have to kind of work that out with whatever the the size here is and your grommets are. But I was looking at a lot of the grommets at um, Hobby Lobby. These are like, I, can only, I found my grommets in at Hobby Lobby in the leather section and also in the sewing section. And they only had this size. I've seen it where they've had all different sizes. But I wasn't able to find them. So anyway, but so I matched these two up. So you have to kind of play with that and see the grommets that you're able to get. And do they match up with the um, your bead roller? Okay, this thing here. And it'll be a lot easier to match it up if you get a set of bead rollers that has like maybe four sizes and then you'll probably end up using the biggest one, okay, for these to fit through there. So, and this is just gives you a nice finish on your beads, You do, but you do not have to have these. And especially today, you don't have to have these, okay. The biggest thing today is to make sure you have your cardstock, something to roll your beads with, some Eileen's Tacky or any type of glue that's really super sticky that's going to glue down cardstock. Um, also have just have some papers around some you know magazines some magazines regular not cardstock have your cardstock but just have some regular pieces too okay like paper ones and I think that's everything let me just look and make sure that I told you guys about everything you're gonna need today yeah I think that is it you guys so I just wanted to make a quick video just to discuss what I've been working on this week as far as these beads. And um, I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. I love how they're turning out. Oh, one quick thing before I go. 
when you go to glaze your pieces, oh, that's the other thing, two things. When you go to glaze your pieces, I would do this either, make sure the door is, make sure there's a window open, or you do, I, I do it in my kitchen, at my kitchen counter, and I open the door. Because this stuff is toxic as hell, okay? I got a headache within two minutes. Yeah, so just don't even do it. It was a bad headache, too. So um, either open a window. I just do it mine by, by the kitchen door because I really need a lot of air, okay, with this stuff. But it does glaze your pieces really nice. Also, if you can, you don't need it today, but I bought these at Dollar Tree, which is the cheapest place to buy these styrofoam blocks. And, um, and these... Uh, and these skewers. Buy yourself a, one of these or two of these. I would buy two. So you have a place to put your beads. So when your beads are drying, have one for your beads drying and one for glazing. That's what I do. And um, and get yourself some of these skewers. Okay. So this one right here is is for when my beads need to dry, and my other one is my board, my uh, styrofoam for glazing. And I and then I make sure I have these so that I have a place to stick them. Okay. All right, so I think I've told you guys everything. Oh, one other thing. I know I keep saying one other thing. I may or may not get to this today. There are these beads. Let me show you. These are really cool too. Look how nice and long these beads are. Now these aren't finished. They need to have have. They need to be uh, sparkly nail polished, glittered. All kinds of cool stuff can happen to these. Okay, um, but look how cool these are. Look, these look. Aren't those neat? So I made those out of calendars. Now those can be made out of anything, but it's the way she told me to line it up. Okay, so let's suppose I, you're gonna use this calendar right here, okay? It's the way that you, you use the squares, I think she does it this way, how to use the squares to cut really big, um, long triangles to make these long beads. And it's really cool how she shows you how to this lady that I was watching how to cut these out out of magazines. So, um, cause you really need these long, let me show you what they look like. I have them, wait, I have them in, yeah, I did cut some out. See how big they are? And that's from a calendar. So they're really wide and they're really long. Okay. And I can show you how to make be those long beads out of these. Um, and that's how I think I did. Yeah, that's how I did this one. See how nice and long that is? And then I love the fatness in the middle. I love that shape. And then these are not made out of, these are made out of the cardstock. These are made out of the magazine. See the difference? So, um, if you have some, um, calendars that have some pretty you know nice colors and prints on them that you don't mind cutting up um or pick up a calendar from dollar tree um if we can get to those today we'll get to those today too if not maybe next week well i think we're going to be on this bead kick for a couple weeks because i'm really loving making these beads okay you guys that is it um i will see you guys at uh two o'clock p.m pacific today um, it's called Angie's Art Party, and um, I think that's it. I, I think I covered everything. I sure hope so. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.